Happy birthday! Woo! What are you doing there? Get oh, out! Boy. Get out here! Come through the arches! Oh, no, it, feels, it feels like the gold... Oops. The golden arches? I've just broken the set. That's quite embarrassing, That's isn't it? That's an email coming. I'm going to be in trouble. Liam's going to tell me off. I'll have to fix that when no one's looking in a minute. Mm -hmm. mm, sorry. We had a really good wake up call show. <laughs> we did have a good wake up call. We did. And we had a good break in between, didn't we? We did yep. indeed, yes. We had a lovely little break. Just to say as well, yes, it is Saturday, mm -hmm. and I did say wake up call for the yep. next couple of weeks on a Saturday. We are uh, having wake up call instead of play your crafts, right? Just while the birthday event is going on. And we're on day six. Yeah, I know. Day it's gone really quickly, hasn't it? Really, really mm -hmm. quick. So it's our turn now. I know. Very exciting. Really, really mm -hmm. exciting. Yes, yeah, so as I said before, we've got some uh, incredible new launches coming your way. We did kind of have a look at them within wake up we call. Did, yeah. Yep. You love dumb. If you've seen the start of Wake Up Call, that was completely legit, your reaction. <laughs> it was. I'd love to say it was a bit of fantastic acting. And if any Hollywood producers are watching, it was purely acting. But no, I was really quite flummoxed mm. by the fact that it doesn't make any sense to me. No. That amazing deal that we're giving you there is just... Well, like I say, it doesn't make any sense. Doesn't to me. make any yep. sense. But I'm going to be going over it just shortly. It's not necessarily the first thing we're going to look at, but we will be having a look at it. But because we are, of course, in our 18th birthday celebrations, it means we're doing giveaways. Mm -hmm. We're doing giveaways. So what we have got today, because the change every every you know, well, every, every day, day essentially. Whereas if you spend over ten, yep. so ten pound or ten dollars, you're going to get that one for free. Excellent. Is it good? I love these little tiny mini dies. I think they're really, really versatile. I want these and I haven't got them. It's very apt for uh, it sewing is Saturday very today. It's for sewing Saturday. So Rapid they're going to be popped into your basket. You don't mm -hmm. need to do anything as long as your order's over £10, $10. The guys and girls in the warehouse will pop that into your box. But then what we've also got, if you spend over 50 mm -hmm. every single day you're going to get brand new Crafters Companion crystal pen. Ooh. But the colour changes. Changes every Exclusive, day. Exclusive, limited edition. And today, it's silver. Oh. Look at so that. you could collect these could. and then be a connoisseur of Crafters Companion crystal pens. Nice. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like this. this I is like nice. that. That's a really I good idea. Say, I haven't got a pen that I could be using. So no. this is the like, one that I just going to. It might not be here later. Is all I'm saying. Which is fair enough, surely. I'm going to have to film myself just making sure that the pen is left here. I had to do it with Hobby Maker really? in the UK sure the no other day to make it. sure that if it does go missing, <laughs> the it's proof's there that I yeah. left it. I might have to do it with this one mm -hmm. as well. But that's not it. Okay. Because if you spend over 100 so £100, $100, what we're going to do is give you a brand new limited edition Fantastic. pink and black jute canvas bag. I like Crafters that. Companion branded. That's going to be popped into your order as well. Again, you don't need to do anything, Becky. Okay. As long as your order is over that 100, the guys and girls will pop that into the basket. Now, what's even better is, let's say you do spend over 100. Yeah. You'll get that. Yeah. But you'll still get the pen and you'll still get the die set. OK, brilliant. That's fantastic. Let's say you just spend 50. Yeah. You'll get the pen, but you'll get the die set as and well. And the die set as well. So it's great. You're still going to get all of these. Not only that's double points on everything. Yeah. So no matter what you're buying across on crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu, within the birthday event, you're going to get double points. Not only that, there's still more to go. It's, still it, more. Uh, that's the problem, isn't it? With birthday, it's still more to go. It's more. More to go, more to go. Well, that's not a problem. No, it's not a problem. No. So what this one is, for your opportunity to be popped into a prize draw of winning 300 or to spend £300, $300 on Crafters Companion products, all you need to do is comment within each live show. So a funny each, comment. Any comment. Even if you never comment, just comment and say hi. Well, one of those silent watchers. A silent watcher. Mm -hmm. yeah. We want to hear from you. Yeah. You're a silent watcher. For certain things, yeah. For certain, for certain, things, things, for certain yeah. things, yeah. Quite, yeah, quite often I, I'm a silent watcher. Are you yeah. a silent watcher? Uh, yeah, I take after my mum. You'd, there was a film, wasn't there? Was it Nerve? Have you seen that? No. Are you a watcher or a player? Oh, you have to Google that. It's quite a good film. Yeah, I'm yeah? not going to yeah. answer the player because I don't know exactly what that entails. <laughs> So therefore, I'll just say I'm a watcher at the moment. But yeah, so all that you need to do within the next couple of hours, we've got Susie T on the social Excellent. for this show here. So just comment, ask any questions while yep. Becky's here. It's, it's so on Saturday, but then our uh, day six of our birthday celebration at Crafters Companion, 18 years. So if there is anything so in questions you want to ask Becky, if there's anything in general you think Becky will be able to help with, of course, just send the, the questions across to Susie. Other than that, it can literally be anything. Just comment at the end of this show. We'll pick a name out. Yep. And then 
then that name will then go into the prize draw a week tomorrow. So that's going to be next Sunday. Okay. That's going to be with Ben and that's going to be with Leanne. That's going to be the final day, the wrap up of our birthday celebration. And one lucky winner will win £300 to spend on Crafters Companion wow. goodies. What would be the first thing you would buy? Foam pads. Foam pads. £300 yeah. worth of foam pads. Foam pads. pads. So it could be a bit like, um, you know, when people fall into lo loads of money, but you'll be like falling into loads of foam pads. What's, what's that? Something beauty. American beauty. American that's beauty. exactly what I was thinking of. That could be American beauty with yeah. the foam pads. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Well, well that's a horrible sight. <laughs> well, they're just going to get stuck all over you, aren't they? Let's be honest. Let's be honest. That's going to be comfy. Are. That's right, exactly. Comfy. Exactly, yeah. So... Where you need to go to buy all these incredible showstoppers that we've got, when it comes to the main bundles that we've got, and just to, of course, just shop ahead. There's the gorgeous ad at the Dazzling Party, 18th birthday celebration at Crafters Companion. Not only is it our Dazzling 18th birthday, we've got our Dazzling brand new website. So you can see the gifts, the free gifts that you're going to be getting. Some of our recent launches, including the brand new launches today when it comes to soft crafts. And you can have a look there. You can have a little peruse at everything that we've been featured within the birthday event and more you can see there your free gift for today the pen which is silver today in that jute bag as well all of that is across on .co.uk .com or .eu while you are there in between shows I wouldn't necessarily do this in live shows but in between shows of course go across have a look at the download section have a look at little additional sections there maybe a few different items you want to pop into your basket so you can do that and then talking about in between we're now 24 7 across on YouTube so if you have missed a live show you're going to be able to rewatch that again it's just going to continually go throughout the day the 24 hours on YouTube on crafters TV so you're not going to miss a thing you're still going to be able to grab the deals stock dependent of course but at least it's so so easy to just watch back on the latest shows and that's not just the latest shows within the 24 hours but you can keep watching them back of course so that is where you need to go crafters TV on YouTube YouTube, but when it comes to social today, when it comes to Susie, either on YouTube or Facebook, that's where you need to go with your comments, your questions, anything you want to say, anything you want to ask, and I'll fire them across to Becky, because we've got Becky for the whole day today, so in Saturday, where we're going to be kick-starting with the Gemini 2, and we're going to be kick-starting with an absolute cracking bundle when it comes to the Gemini 2. Now this certainly what Becky's going to be showing is uh, all for your soft crafts which is an incredible deal. What we are away to show you just now this is just for the US this is a USA bundle so we'll go over it all in a moment. There is one for the UK that we'll go over just shortly. Also just to say for you guys stateside the machine will come from our US warehouse and then all of the additional goodies will come from here. But by going what you've been sending when it comes to social, you've been sending your photos stateside of orders that you've placed within 24 hours and they've arrived. That's I mean, incredible, isn't it? How does that even happen? Do we have a private jet for all of we the Crafters Companion? It's like a purple jet that just shoots over with all the orders. Do you think they borrowed Sarah's? Maybe, yeah. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's, maybe what, that's it what it is. is yeah. So yeah, just to keep that, they'll be, they will be delivered in separate packets because the Gemini is coming from the US and then all of the additional goodies are coming from here. Just literally round the corner from our global warehouse. But what you're going to be is $499. If you are platinum, that's then we're going to come all the way down to $399.20. As I say, this one here is for the US only. You're still going to get the double points and because it is $399.20 or even if you're paying the $499, you are going to get all free all three free gifts for today and you don't need to do anything that will also just be popped in so becky you've got predominantly most of it on your side haven't you I because have. it's all kind yeah. of your soft craft items i have and i've hidden it underneath my desk have you to make it a little bit of a surprise boom like that oh. right oh my gosh did what that make you right? did it make you jump you almost gave me a heart attack did it really yes. oh no i don't want that to happen yes <laughs> Right, what so the first, thing you're going to be, the first thing you're going to be getting in this bundle is the Gemini 2. You've seen us use it. You know what this is all about. You know that this is a, a key item. This is a machine that we all rave about, we love. Um, this is something that I use all the time for my the soft craft um, as well as my paper craft. Um, I, I'll be honest, I haven't got this new one yet. I'm getting it. 
I, I've ordered it. I'm going to be go picking it up. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to pick it up in the next couple of weeks. Um, I've just not been very organised because I thought, well, actually, don't, do I need a new machine? Yes, I do. Because I love the fact that I've got a place to pop um, my tablet up here. You've got all those USB ports at the back. It's quicker. It's sleeker. Takes up less space. Um, and it's faster, let's be honest. You know, and it, and it looks the business. And also, I've melted mine because I put it too close to my iron. Oh. That, that's the main reason. Mine looks like a Salvador Dali sculptor. So, a sculpture. So you're going to be getting this. You're going to be getting the Gemini 2 with all the associated um, plates and bits and pieces. And this is going to be, this is a US version that we're looking at. But the UK version basically has the same things plus a little bit more. You'll also be getting the original builder block. So this is your original patchwork system. This is the very first one that we bought out. It has squares, half square triangles and quarter square triangle dies in it to allow you to cut with absolute precision through multiple layers of fabric. You'll be able to cut through six to eight layers of ordinary cotton fabric and be able to cut the squares, half square triangles and quarter square triangles. These are your bread and butter when it comes to patchworking. The majority of the designs, well not the majority, a, a lot of the designs that you will see online will be based upon just these different shapes and then you can start adding other shapes into them. This is a, I knew I was going to do it around the wrong way, there you go. <laughs> this is a small example of the kind of designs you can make just with this box, not with anything else, just with this box, just with the sizes of the squares, half square triangles and quarter square triangles that you're going to have in here. But we also do an original, we do a Builder Block Plus, which works in collaboration with this as well. But for me, this is my hero tool. This is the item that if I was starting to sew, this would be the thing I'd want. This and of course the Gemini, because you'll need the two to work mm -hmm. together. But it makes a, everything, you know, making patchwork, making any kind of quilting super super easy because you've got that accuracy you haven't got the time consuming thing of using a rotary cutter to cut out all of your shapes you've not got the fact that you know there's human error when it comes to cutting those shapes I and mean, you've got to be accurate every single time you use that rotary cutter and let's be honest it takes a bit of time and practice to get to grips with a rotary cutter you've got to be in the right position to use your rotary cutter properly this fold up your fabric put it through the gemini you've got eight squares cut out beautifully Perfect. so this is my ideal tool so i'm going to put that to one side because okay. that's just one of the many things you're going to get in this bundle the next item you're going to be getting is a builder block this one is your drunkard's path this is a circular design um, now circles really come into their own with the Gemini because you've got that precision cutting it means that especially with a circle you've got to make sure that all of your shapes are cut perfectly so they match together now if you can see up here from the dies you've got this sort of like quarter of a circle and then you've got the piece that goes around the outside of it if those curves aren't cut exactly right they're not going to match they're not going to fit in together it's a little bit like a jigsaw puzzle if you're trying to put in a piece um, into a jigsaw puzzle that doesn't quite match or perhaps the dog's chewed it slightly and it's slightly out of shape it's not going to work it's going to work in exactly the same way with the dies that are going to be pre-cutting out your fabric mm -hmm. these are the examples of the different kind of designs you can make with this one gemini builder block and um, lots of different designs by using different types different sizes different colors um, of those shapes but basically it's just two shapes it's a quarter of a, a circle and the bit that goes around the outside so really quite key and you will see i'm going to do a demonstration on this a little bit later okay. you will see the difference in cutting something with a gemini and trying to stick it together or sew it together with a curve versus trying to cut it with um, a, a rotary cutter so that's one of them. The next one you're going to have is your alphabets and numbers. So again, this is a builder block. This is a selection of dies to create these letters. Now, you're not going to have a die that cuts out a letter A. You're going to have a mixture of different dies that are going to cut squares, rectangles, and triangles to create these letters. And this gives you the flexibility to make lots of different letters. Also numbers, you can create um, um, question marks, emphasands, um, hashtags, all sorts of different shapes, as well as things like a heart, a, a bear, a flower, a tree, really, really versatile. And you're going to be able to make blocks from six inches up to 12 inches. It's going to allow you a flexibility to create all sorts of different things. Now, you could be using the original builder block here to create a beautiful quilt for a wedding present perhaps. And then in the middle, you want to put the bride and groom's name or Mr. and Mrs. or something like that. You can do that easily with these with very little working out and precision. You're gonna be not wasting lots of fabric because you're gonna be cutting them with a Gemini and you're gonna know, going to know they're exactly perfect each time you use them. 
<laughs> You'll also be getting this applique die here, and this is a really cute little bird applique die. You can use this for stitching onto a quilt, onto a t-shirt. Perhaps you want to make two out of some felt, stitch them together, put some stuffing in them and hang them from the Christmas tree. Very flexible die. These are multimedia dies. It means you can cut them out of card, leather, all sorts of different things. And you'll see that is the, that's the, 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 the frequent refrain with all of the things that I've got here. They are versatile. You'll be able to use them in your paper crafting as well as your soft crafting. I'll pop that just there. Stay still. This is a selection of um, clamshell dies, four different size clamshell dies. Again, multimedia dies. You can use this for cutting card if you wanted to, but you wouldn't have to put them together in quite the same way because we take into account a quarter of an inch seam allowance around the edge of all of these. Now you can see you've got lots of curves on here. You've got three curves on each one. Making sure you've got the accuracy um, is, is key with this. And by using the Gemini, be able to cut these multiple layers um, multiple times means that everything's going to slot in together really really quickly if you look at there that little cushion that we've got in the image here um, it looks like little mountains little hills really really beautiful if you're looking for a project on this have a look on pinterest or something similar you will see there are some beautiful designs with like little teddy bears look like they're peeking out through the hills and um, really easy to make with this die something i would not have attempted had i not got that die then we've got the elongated hexagon and um, works in exactly the same way four different sizes multimedia dies and you're going to be able to cut everything pre with precision and quickly looking on the back of here you've got a large quilt that's probably going to take one two three four five, maybe six passes through the Gemini to cut all of those pieces of fabric out to create that quilt. So you can see very very quickly you're able to create lots of projects really quickly and easily. Another one we've got are your apple cores. Again, four different sizes. Each one of these shapes has got curves in it. We've got four curves in each shape. Nigh on impossible to get an accuracy cutting these with, uh, with scissors or with um, a rotary cutter. But you're obviously going to put them through the Gemini. You'll be able to cut everything really quickly and easily. The next item I've got for you is um, one of our builder block dies. So we did a collaboration with Karen Lewis and Joe Avery, who are very well respected quilters. They created, they de designed this temp these templates for us, and then we created some dies for you. So you can create, get, see, you get these little dies at the back. By putting these together, um, according the to the instructions, you will be able to create these three different projects. There's an apron, a cushion, and a quilt. Really versatile. You will see how beautiful you can create different designs. And these will work together with each other. So we've got three from Joe Avery, three from Karen Lewis available. Some of them will be available on the website. This is obviously one in the bundle. But the projects can be used and mixed and matched with the different um, little blocks that you've got there. So that's that. You've also got this one here, which is your um, Hawaiian applique die. This works in the same kind of way as if you were a child, or perhaps perhaps you do it even now. You fold up some um, paper into quarters, into sixteenths, and then you cut around them and make them into snowflakes to stick on the wall. This works in the same kind of way, except you're getting your fabric, you're folding it into fours, you're placing the folds of your fabric along down this right angle here, then you're running that through the Gemini and you're unfolding it and you will find that you get this beautiful design coming out for you with the pineapple really really nice dye that you're going to get here still good i'm out of breath i have to be honest fabulous flowers these are a set of dyes that you can be using for paper craft you can do them with vellum you can do them with card paper felt leather fabric you can cut all of these different petals and leaf designs to create some really gorgeous flowers. Really, again, very versatile. Something that, you know, if you just want a little bit of an embellishment, maybe you're just looking for some decorations um, for your Christmas tree. You want to put a couple of flowers on there. Maybe you want to use some kind of um, glitter paste on some of the, um, the felt that you've got to make them the glittery, sparkly. There's all sorts of things you can do with that. Again, very, very versatile. And of course, because they're multimedia dyes, you're going to be able to use them for not just for fabric, but for other things as well. Another multimedia die that we have are our nesting hearts. Um, huge array of different size nesting hearts that you've got here. Um, 
we've got, I'm just trying to remember, remember how many, nine, nine different sizes, down to the tiniest little heart all the way up to a very large one. Now using these apertures in your paper craft, using these as appliques, perhaps you want to use the biggest ones and make them into heart-shaped um, little um, bags, all sorts of different things you can do with these. Put them together, making them into flowers, really versatile set of dies. And then finally, the last one are our animal applique dies. These are much larger than you think from the packaging. They actually end up being around about two inches in height. Um, loads of different shapes in here. Again, really versatile. You will realise once you get these home, um, you've got some very small shapes that you'll use for paper craft as well as soft craft. Cut them out of felt, cut them out of um, a fabric to applique onto an item. Maybe you just want to make them out of felt and give them to a child in lots of different shapes and colours of felt so they can make their own animals. Um, that is absolutely a, a really good idea for you. This all of this that we've got here, as well as that Gemini, which I've hidden behind <laughs> all of the stuff, you're going to get that Gemini too, as well as all of this stuff, is only £499, $499 or $399.20 if you're um, in Club Inspire Platinum member. Huge saving on this. And this mm -hmm. is just, for me, for me, these two things are absolutely key as a, as a new crafter, as a soft crafter. These are things I definitely want, but all of these things are absolutely fantastic to have. You may already have some of these bits and pieces, but that kind of saving, you're gonna to wanna to buy them. You can always re-gift the things that you already have. Absolutely, you're right. And you know, on the back of what you were just saying there and that price there, if you look at that today's price, you are saving £541.28. So really, really epic saving there with the machine and all the plates, as Becky was saying, plus everything else. So that's for you guys stateside. So if you want to get your hands on that bundle, then of course that is all the details there at a platinum price of £399.20. So $399.20 for you guys stateside. And of course, you'll get everything that Becky was just showing you there with that incredible incredible saving. Now for you guys here in the UK if you want to go for your bundle with the Gemini 2 you can absolutely do that and what you're going to get is you're going to get everything that Becky's just shown you there. So you're going to get the machine and everything else that she just showed you uh, that's for everyone in the UK and then what you're also going to get is what I'm showing just here. So just to clarify that so for the UK bundle UK bundle you're going to get the Gemini 2 and everything that Becky was just showing you, plus you're going to get all of this as well. So within this one, what we're going to get is going to get your bloom builder. So these are your multi-craft dies, so they're going to go through all your different fabrics. If you want to do any of your stitch work, of course. What we're then also going to give you, we're popping into these ones, is our festive treat dies. So you're going to get your festive treat dies. Becky was having a look and talking you through these within Wake Up Call this morning, where you're going to get the snowman, you're then going to get the Christmas tree, you're also then going to get your penguin, and then you're also then going to be getting your gingerbread man. So you've got your little aperture in there, you can pop your little bit of vinyl, or you can pop your little goodies, your treats in there, if you want to, because it's a festive treat die. Multicraft, so therefore it's also going to go through all your really, really, really thick materials if you want to. You're also going to get that. Not only that, you're then going to be getting your build a border as well. So remember, everything I'm showing you here is what you guys in the UK are also getting within that Gemini 2 mega bundle. So 31 of your multi-craft dies here where you can then essentially do exactly that. Build your border or build your, build your, I can't, it's going right in my head, banner, banner. I only said it like 10 seconds ago and I got it right. Build your banner. Not only that, you're then going to get your quilting gloves. So as Becky gave a lovely explanation within Wake Up Call and how you could be using these ones, you know, that's then just going to enable your uh, hands not to slip and slide over your fabrics there and there. And then you're also going to get your six in one quilting pattern guide. So you're going to get all three of these ones are going to be coming within your bundle. So we're going to get all three of these. So these ones, and your quilting gloves, and your build a banner, and you're also going to be getting your festive treat dies, which you're going to be getting your four sets. You're going to be getting your snowman, your tree, your penguin, your gingerbread man, and you're also then going to be getting your bloom builder. So all of that, £499, you've got a saving of £506.73. But if you are platinum, that's then going to come down to £399.20. So that is the UK bundle. So the UK bundle, you get that, 
plus everything that Becky was showing you a moment ago within her bundle on that side. It's all there on the website for you to check out, .co.uk.com or .eu. Remember that being the Gemini 2, it's not only the latest die-cutting machine here at Crafters Companion, it's the latest one in the world that only just launched there, you know, between May and June time with all these additional key features of the upgrades of 2023. Now, we're going to go for a little break just in a moment to let you check out your baskets. We're going to come back and have a look at today's brand new launch. But we've got so many of you are in. We've got Linda's in, Sheila's in. We've got Handmade by Stacey's in. Donna's in from Florida. Lynn from Indiana. We've also got Mary Anna saying, Becky, 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 wrecking the scent set at the start of the show. <laughs> Sure was, it's usually me. Hannah's uh, Goslin Smith is saying, Afternoon, everyone. Alicia saying, Good morning, everyone, and greetings from Arkansas. Watching and listening from my craft room called The Craft Factory with a big TV. I just ordered the light pad. Awesome, brilliant. That's just going to plug into your G2 if you've got it. We've got Lynn is saying, Craig looks very dapper in his suit, and Becky is nice and sparkly. We made an effort today, didn't we? We have. We always do. We always do, yeah. I think so. It's nice to make an effort. I'm going to wear, I'm going to wear um, sequins all the time. All the time. I think you should. Yeah. In bed as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would you say the camera doesn't like sequins? Shake it, shake it, shake it. The camera doesn't like me wearing my blazer. No. It, uh, it, uh, OK, I've taken it off now. It's, too, it's actually too hot in the studio to wear the blazer. Do you think um, so? But I do, I, do love a, I do love a sequin. I've only got black sequins to wear tomorrow on the journey home. Like I say, I'm going I'm I'm to look like an extra from Surprise Surprise if anyone sees me in the services at 3 o'clock. Well, not 3 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning. 6 o'clock in the morning. 6 o'clock in the morning, yeah. Stopping at the petrol station exactly. and services. Phil Watson on YouTube is saying, hey ho, it's the Carnoustie Crafter and Becky Bling. Pair of us all day today. A few questions coming through. So what we'll do is we'll ask them just a little bit later on. We'll do them in just like a little section to Becky. Faith Smith's in saying hi from Virginia. Rosalind's in. Shadaya's in saying uh, so gorgeous looking in. So gorgeous looking in the dress, Becky. Woo. Oh, thank you. So gorgeous. I look so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. So gorgeous looking in the dress, Becky. Thank you. Woohoo. Excellent. Thank end. you very much. Les is in saying, love, love, love that dress, Becky. We've got Deborah's in. We've also got Kathy Myers is in. Also, uh, Sherry's in. Liz is in. Mary Ann's in saying, I hope you're all having a wonderful Saturday. I am. Are you? Are you having a lovely Saturday? I am having a lovely Saturday. It's always lovely with you, Craig. Ah. I hope you <laughs> caught that on camera. <laughs> Oh, no, it that. is. I love I love working with you, Craig. It's so it's so such good fun. I always look forward. Whenever I get my um my rotor and I see I'm working with you, Craig, I'm like, oh. You lovely. send an email back saying, can we do a swap? Yeah, can we please? swap? Can anyone swap with you, please? Yeah, please. Yeah, no. I don't want to put put me on my car and not Craig. Um, joking. We we don't. We're like, yes, we're on with each other. It's because we we go end up teenagers, don't we? Just the way we giggle and stuff we, like that. We have, I have to say, we were sitting in the green room, <laughs> weren't we? And I had a scarf and a cardigan on, because it's quite cold in here. When there aren't any bodies around in the studio, there's, it tends to be quite cold. And Craig was wrapped up in one of the, the quilted blankets. Got it, yeah. <laughs> just in, sipping, sipping soup, yeah. drinking cups of tea, setting the world to right. It was lovely, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, it is a little bit. I think as well, as we said in Wake Up Call, you know, a few of us have got like colds and stuff like that and a little bit sniffly. And even although it's yeah. a studio, it just it still feels it's, it's autumn now, so it feels a little bit cold. But yeah, I pinched one of Becky's blankets and we're all having our lunch and we're <laughs> chatting. I know, I'm not going to go over my mic, but I was, that's what I was doing. I like the fact that you brought it with you into the studio like it's a security it's blanket. It's get a bit chilly. It's a bit chilly. <laughs> um, a lot of you are really, really excited about that big bundle of the Gemini, but you're also really excited about the brand new launch that we've got. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back in a couple of minutes with Becky and we'll show you the brand new launch. The party is here. It's time to find your sparkle because Crafters Companion is turning an amazing 18. We've got disco fever and you're all invited to light up the dance floor for our biggest and brightest party yet. And it's the hottest ticket in town and everyone's on the guest list. So follow the call 
of the Disco Ball and join us from the 9th to the 22nd of October. We'll be shining the spotlight on a dazzling lineup of amazing new launches, offers, and so many surprises. And Crafters TV has been transformed into a boogie wonderland with live fun and crafty goodies every day. And we're keeping the party going with birthday 24 7. Tune in to enjoy non stop Crafters TV all day, every day, throughout the entire birthday celebration. So, Dancing Queens, what are you waiting for? Visit our amazing new Crafters Companion website to join the fun and shine bright. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV with you wherever you are. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made. We talk about customers but really the going as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me, personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we are all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air, I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family so with us in the midst of our 18th birthday celebration we were having a chat this morning and that was what was the number one song when you were born so for me, it was Brian Adams. This was 21st of June, 1985. Everything I do, I do it for you. Well, no, it was heaven. Oh, oh. Yeah, it was heaven, Brian Adams, heaven. How does heaven. that go? Your, I can't remember what yours were, because I, I looked at everyone's, and I can't even remember what they were. Charlotte was a banger. Yes. Yeah, was good. Was, um, what was Charlotte's? I can't remember what it was now. I can't even remember now. It won't, it won't uh, even be on. Uh, so Dean's was Against All Odds, Phil Collins. Oh, I like that song. Classic. Um, Charlotte's way to Google her one again. I did have Crafters TV. So on the 14th of October 2005, it was Gold Digger and it was by, I can't say his name, Kanye, Kanye West. West. Kanye I assume West. she's a gold digger. And Jamie Foxx. Oh. So, oh. yeah, so that was the 14th of October 2005. So, uh, yeah, we were just, uh, I don't know why we were talking about that this morning. So, if you know, or while you're watching, if you've got that little bit of time to Google, just today's date and your birth year, let us know. What and was then the song? Maybe we can work out what year you were born in if you tell us what the number one is. Mm -hmm. See if we can work it out. So I just put, anyone that wants a little bit of help into the search engine, I just put number one song on your date of birth. And it came up. Excellent. Yeah. 
So I'd done that. So yeah. Um, so let us know. Let us know if you want. You don't have to. But I just thought it's fun. 18 years. See what uh, was number one. OK, Charlotte's got something different to what I found earlier on for her. Although I'm, I'm, maybe I put a different date, Charlotte. So Charlotte's actually got Celine Dion. Oh. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. What, what Power Celine of Love. Dion's song is it, though? Power of Love. Yeah. What, the Power of Love as in, like, Huey Lewis and the News? No, Power of Love. And I'm your lady. I can't, oh. I can't go there. <laughs> yeah. Jennifer um, uh, Rush. Yeah, Jennifer OK, Rush. that one. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Uh, Susie's was Too Much Heaven by the Bee Gees. Oh. Mm. It's quite, it's quite interesting. So do that, does that mean that the song that you, was number one the year you were born is the song of your life? Do you think? Do you know, do you know. what was yours again? So on the 21st of June, yeah. the current number one was Brian Adams' Heaven. Heaven. I, I don't know what mine was. I can't remember because it wasn't a song. My date of birth, 20th of June, 1975. The, the problem is, all of these songs are coming up and I'm going, I remember that song being in the charts because I'm so much older than everybody else in the studio. I feel like I'm, if you combine everyone's ages, I'm still older in the studio. But you, you so look what was number younger. one? Love it. Will Keep Us Together. By whom? Captain and Tennille, Tennille which yeah. I, I hadn't heard of, and then when I heard the music, I was like, okay, I remember oh, yeah, that. From, like, like Charlotte said, from a from a rom com, I remember that. Mm -hmm. Don't know, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? It is interesting. Mm. Yeah, it was really, really interesting. It's just kind of snowballed throughout the day, so that's why I thought, let's ask you guys at home, let us know as well. I would do it for you, but we're kind of got a live show to do, so I'll let you do it, <laughs> and then you can let me know as uh, as much as I am interested. Uh, right, let's have a look. This is a brand new launch. You guys absolutely loved it within Wake Up Call this morning. Please remember, of course, for a couple of weeks on a Saturday morning, it is going to be Wake Up Call just while we've got our 18th birthday celebration. And if you've seen Wake Up Call, you'll have seen Becky's reaction when she actually found out and realised that the bear making kit is now part of the showstopper. It wasn't up till last night, and with it all being just uh, last minute and that, uh, Becky obviously never seen it and noticed that it's now in the showstopper. So that's why so many have jump on this incredible deal, because you're saving £24.96 or $36.84. But what you are going to be getting is you're going to get everything I'm showing you. Now, there is a couple of options where you maybe just want to go for them separate. It's entirely up to you. you might have a look at that, but it's all on .co.uk.com or .eu. But the showstopper is your animal threaders template and the teddy bear showstopper kit. So what you're going to be getting is your template to make the lion. So we've got the templates to make the lion and I know Becky will show you a few just shortly when we go across to her because we'll go across to her once I've shown you the showstopper. You're then also going to be getting, I mean look at that elephant, how cute. Gosh darn cute that elephant is. You've got the template and you've got all the full instructions. You've got your list as to what you're going to need as well to make these. And then you've got your dragon. So that is in your showstopper. But what has now been added less than, well, less, less than 24 hours ago, your teddy bear making kits are now in the showstopper. So they're in the showstopper where you get everything, Becky. You were saying that you get the fabric, you get, you get. It just don't doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense to me, because look at the price. And this is what you can make. Yeah. That's you know it's not like a diddy little no, key not, ring or something no. like that. It's an incredible deal. I just don't understand. So you Me get, no compute, is you what get I'm that, say. so you can, you can make them. So your two full teddy bear making kits. And then what you're also going to be getting is your small snippy scissors. You're also going to get your set of heat erasable pens. Mm -hmm. You're also then going to get your 10 clips as well. And then you're also going to be getting your teddy bear accessory button set. So that is what you've got that are on the side there of the teddy bear buttons. Now, when it comes to that showstopper price today, essentially you're getting that for a tenner. Now, that would be 20, 20, £24, £24, just under $30, but you're going to get it for 10. That is incredible. So that is your two teddy bear making kits. 
with everything that you need. You're then going to get your templates for your dragon. You're also going to get the templates for your elephant and then the template for the lion. And you're getting all of these accessories as well. $69.95 or $88.75. That's where you've got that epic saving. But of course, if you're platinum, at platinum, you're going to be $55.96 or $71. Now, the teddy bear kits on their own, just to let you know, on their own are worth $19.99 on their own. So now you can see that value when it comes to that showstopper. Every single item I've just shown you there is what you're getting within that showstopper collection. £55.96 platinum, or for you guys stateside, $71. You're going to get your double points on that as well. Not only that, what you're also then going to be getting is you're going to be getting your two free gifts. You're going to get your, uh, you're going to get your die set because you spent over 10, but you'll also then get that silver crystal pen because you're spending over 50. Remember, if you do spend over 100, then you'll get that jute bag. If you are spending over 100, you'll still also get the pen and the die set as well. So you're still going to get all of that. And let's not forget as well, just by commenting, and there's still loads coming in. Oh my gosh, there's lots of you that's just been checking out the songs for your birth years. Uh, just by doing that, you're then going to be in with the chance of having your name picked out at the end of this show and every other show up until, well, next Saturday, and then on the Sunday, and probably the first couple of shows on the Sunday, you'll have your name, uh, have the ability to have your name popped out, and then you'll go to the grand draw with Leanne and Ben later on, and probably the last show next Sunday, which is going to be the wrap-up of our birthday event. So that is the showstopper. You're getting all of that. Now, now you realise where you've got that incredible saving, where you've got that incredible value, but it's the incredible things that you can make, Becky. I'm having a little cuddle. Because they we are just so cute. Um, I'm just thinking Christmas presents. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, um, you know, having activities to do with the, with the kids over Christmas, um, using those kits is absolutely ideal because everything is contained within them. You're going to get the animal stuffing as well as all of the little bits and pieces to make them. These ones are the templates. You can use your own fabric. You will need to purchase um, extra bits of, like, of, of stuffing in them, um, but they are absolutely key because you can use your own fabrics. You can all use up all those little scraps and bits and pieces you happen to have. Maybe you want to make a patchwork one of these. You can absolutely do that. You could stitch together. You could use one of our um, builder blocks. Um, you could create a whole patchwork with all of the scraps of fabric and then make one of these animals out of the pieces of fabric after that. Really easy to do. Now, um, obviously here we've got your elephant, you've got your lion, and you've got your dragon. I keep wanting to call him a dinosaur because I kept seeing it on the, um, on the, on the box. <laughs> um, but they are really, really gorgeous. Um, now, one thing I do want to show you is this one here. Elephant with some clothes on. Now, if you were lucky enough to see the launch that we did last year, we had some clothes on there for teddy bears. These will fit. So if you happen to have those clothes, Good. you can reuse those designs and you can use um, their little um, clothes for those as well. So you could dress them too. Um, but we're going to concentrate on the actual animals for the moment. Now, the one that we were looking at earlier on was the lion. So this is the lion um, template that we've got at the moment. So I have to do a quick wee, quick wee crap. I'm not Jonathan Ross, a quick <laughs> recap um, of what we did here. So here you've got your template with all of the different shapes in here. These follow a very similar pattern no pun intended, um, with all of these. There are slightly, slightly different things in here because obviously they're overall, they're roughly the same kind of shape. They've just got slightly different things like here, you've got a slightly different um, kind of um, nose because this one's got a trunk. Um, but the shape of the body and the feet and the arms are all going to be very, very similar. In each of these, you will get the template and you will get your little booklet in here as well. But to show you what you'll get in the other ones, I'm just going to open those up as well to show you the difference in them. Obviously, you're going to be getting them um, all together, um, but you'll see on this one here, um, whilst the, the shape of the leg is slightly different because um, elephants have a slightly different leg to a lion. You see it's a sli slightly different shape here. But you've also got this shape here for the front of the head because you've got the trunk down here. But that, that's more or less, you know, that's, they're the significant differences. Obviously, the ears are slightly different as well. Then with the dragon, the difference on this one will be the shape of the, body, the face um, because you've got a bit of a snout um, on there. I'm just trying to find out where 
your head is, where's your head? Here. You've got the head shape here. So it's got a bit of a snout on him. You've also got little horns, um, but the main key things are the wings you've got on here. But you can see how they, they will sort of slightly overlap sometimes, but you'll be able to see quite clearly what shape is what. And when you have a look through the little booklet, it will highlight in red the different shapes. Um, so they're all quite simple to follow through. And as I said before, they've all got a similar kind of shape to them. Um, they're all roughly um, the kind, same kind of um, pattern that they follow. Okay. I'll just put those to one side if I show you the difference with them these are slightly um, when you compare them to other toys oh, um, they don't have joints as such the, their limbs are put together with a button the button is stitched into the main part of the body of the animal uh, and this is what allows you to oh, move moves. the joints which makes it nice and easy if you were making an animal where perhaps you didn't have any joints on here you were trying to sort of pop the um, pop an arm into effectively like a socket and stitch it together it becomes a little bit difficult to sew but you can do these as all separate pieces um, together so they're quite easy if you think about this we did this earlier on we did an arm and we did a leg um, earlier on in the in the show they're quite easy to put together um, and then stitch them um, and, and put them together with those those little buttons so they work in the same kind of way so you see overall their bodies are very very similar with the tail at the end obviously the face is slightly different when you've got the um, the snout and the trunk um, and then obviously this one here different kind of shape um, face and you've but you've also got a similar kind of body but slightly longer with that tail and you've got these or other accessories like the wings I don't know if you can call wings accessories but I'm going to um, so I'm going to continue with what I was making before so I have as I said before I've made pieces um, of this line already so I'm going to show you little segments of it rather than doing one from scratch realistically I would say that these will take you an afternoon to make from start to finish but as you become more competent in them you'll be able to create them much quicker this is an arm that we cut earlier on today um, I cut it out of my fabric stitched around the edge left a gap at the back here and um, turned it out the right way and then we stuffed it so you can see one end is a bit wider than the other so that's going to be your forearm this is going to be your shoulder and that is where your little button is going to be when it attaches to your body then we've got your foot here, or your leg. So we cut the leg, um, we, we did the leg, we put the, the pad of the foot in, and um, we've also stuffed it. Um, we just need to stitch this by hand. Um, so we just fold that over, do some stitching, and then that will complete that foot. So you need two arms and you need two feet okay. um, for your um, animal. Um, the next thing we're going to look at is the face. So I'm going to um, find the pieces that I've already cut for the head and the face. Um, you can see here, I want two pieces like this, um, head front. Um, I'm just going to look through my little bits and pieces over here, make sure I've got the right um, sections. And the templates tell you everything, don't they? They do. They makes it nice and easy for you. Um, so that is... Get that round. That's around the right way. There's two pieces here. Now that's my back and that's my front. And I need, no, I need two heads, uh, two um, of these head fronts here. But I also need these pieces over here. This is my head um, over here. So those pieces, are they correct? That looks about right. Have I written head on there? Uh, that one's there. Let's just make sure I've got the right pieces together. Um, that looks like that should be there. And then we should have one more piece for the face. There we go, like that. So then we've got these pieces together to start putting together on the faces. Um, so we've got two for the head here, and we've got two head front over here. Put that to one second. Right, now I'm going to get my pieces together. So you can see here, this is my head. These are the head pieces. So this is this one here, and I, I'm showing from the, the paperwork here. I want to sew along this line down here. And then this one, I want to sew down here as well. Now it says place two he front head pieces together, right sides together, and sew along the front side as shown in the template. Now I already highlighted on the template which side was back with my little B and this side is front with a little F. I'm using my heat erasable pen so I know they're going to disappear when I start um, ironing anything, or right. even if I was 
was using a piece of fabric that I wasn't keen on ironing, perhaps I was using something like felt, for mm -hmm. example, um, I could just use a hairdryer or a heat tool on it. it and that, that works as well. That. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place this over the top here and then I'm going to stitch along the correct lines. Would you ever hand stitch all of this or would you always do it machine? Um, I would I would suggest that doing it by machine is a way to go because you want to keep that really small um, sewing um, stitch because you want to ensure that you don't um, you know none of the the, the animal fit, filling comes mm -hmm. out. Um, I would suggest that that is the way to go. Just gonna just undone that needle. I'm just gonna thread that again. I have to say thank you for uh, all sending in your uh, your song, the your uh, birth year song. We'll have a read through them just shortly. Some brilliant ones, brilliant ones. Oh, I hate it when this happens. Oh no, what's happening? Just happened? give me a minute. It's just got a little bit. Sometimes no the sewing machine just doesn't want to play ball. Give me two seconds well, and just, just re-thread it. Let's have a little read through some of these ones and then whenever it's Becky, Becky's ready, she can just give me a shout and we'll go straight back to her. But we've got, uh, we've got Fatma saying, mine was Daydreamer, Believer. We've got Laura I is saying, and this is so freaky because I've not heard this in years and years and years and I must have heard this about three times in the past eight, nine days and that's Vanessa Willman, Williams, Save the Best to Last. Oh, I like that so song. Bizarre. Yeah, wanna save the best for last. And Laura had never heard of it before. Oh, it's You've a not good heard song. it before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, love that I hadn't song. heard it for years, as I say. And then just all of a sudden, it seems to be playing on the radio. Mm. Betty Weaver is saying, "It's my party" by Leslie Gore was mine. Thanks for making me feel old and ancient. Sorry. Sandra Dundas is saying, "Elvis Presley." Oh, shuka. Oh. Rita Jackson. My song is "Be My Baby" by the Ronettes. Oh, I like that song. Oh, yeah. We've got another. Uh, so another this. This is a duet with Celine Dion, that's all I'm going to say, and it's I'm Your Angel. We've then got Deborah is saying, I want to be wanted by Brenda Lee, it was on my birthday, October the 26th. I won't say you're here, although you have popped it in the comments. Renee is saying, number one song on my birthday, May 11, 1953, was Where Is Your Heart by Percy Faith. Aww. It's a song from Moulin Rouge. We've got Sherry is saying, mine is Big Girls Don't Cry by The Four Seasons. Linda is saying, that's Linda Warren is saying, Cry by John A. R S Y. I'm not sure how you would say that surname, but Cry. We've got Helen is saying, Mine is there, always something there to rem Mine is, there's always something there to remind me by Sandy Shaw. I like that song. There's always, I'm trying to think. Always something there to remind me. Oh, yes. I do remember that one. We've just got, Suzanne Dawn is saying, holy smokes. Well, she didn't quite say holy smokes, but I've changed it. Saying, just looked up mine, not impressed at all. Have I the right by the honeycombs? Guess the year. I won't. Becky, do you know what that goes like? No, no? I don't know that one. Have I the right by the honeycombs? Unfortunately, my knowledge of music is pretty much 90s house music. Is it? Unfortunately, yeah. If, you, if, there's, if there's anyone born in the 90s that's watching, like, well, Charlotte, um, I know I know all the songs from that that era, but do you like otherwise, the 90s? not really. You know. we, what kind of music do you listen to at home? Are you quite eclectic? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I oh from pop to rock to ballads. Yeah, I'm I'm not into like mosh or metal or anything like that. No, but you know I'll put on I'll go anything from. Heart Radio to Radio One to Smooth Radio. Mm -hmm. So going from uh, you know upbeat on trend current to real like your Smooth Radio is like all your 80s, sometimes your 70s. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I really do. I like I like a lot. My favourite is Shock Horror, like ballad voices, big yeah. ballad voices. Yeah. You know I love those Celine Dion, Whitney Houston, Leona Lewis. Um, n never been a big follower of Mariah Carey, although she's got no. a, a, a ballad voice. So my cousin um, used to work for MTV and he introduced, um, in, interviewed Mariah Carey and his girlfriend at the time was a really big Mariah Carey fan. 
to the extent that she had like a shrine in her bedroom for her. And Mariah signed a bottle of champagne, I think it was crystal champagne that she drank, um, and gave it to her. It was an empty bottle. Oh, <laughs> she didn't get her a full bottle. Um, but yeah, she was like a huge Mariah fan. I think sometimes you get like these super fans, don't they? Mm -hmm. Where they, you know, they live and breathe the, the person. I don't think I'm, I've ever been quite like that. I mean, I was a big fan of Prince. I still am a big fan of Prince. Um, but yeah. not, I don't have a shrine to no. Prince in my house. Nothing to that extent. No, not at the moment anyway. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Oh, right, I'm, I managed to fix the sewing machine. <laughs> so what I've done is I've stitched around these two pieces, well, the four pieces, two pieces here, two pieces here, um, for the ears. So I've stitched around the edge. And again, like I said before, because I've got curves, I'm just going to trim in. I'm just using my scissors to cut in from the edge of the fabric almost to that stitching line like that and that allows the curve to work a little bit better um, because obviously if you've got lots of excess fabric when we turn it around the other way there's not going to be anywhere for that excess fabric to go and okay. um, so this is why we're just cutting into those curves or you can trim it or you can use your pinking shears we're just going to fold these little ears out so they're the right way round and these are going to form the little ears for our um, lion I'm going to move my just use my finger just to smooth that little shape away like that i'm going to do the same with this one and i've stitched along the side of the two heads here as well now we can pop this round the right way like that so it's a nice like a assembly craft to do isn't it it's not yeah. one great big project as in you're having to do like one template one sheet of fabric yeah piece exactly of fabric. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of fabric which is going to form the mane. So I've got slightly different coloured fabrics in here but this is um, a strip of fabric. I'm going to fold it in half and I want to stitch along here with the widest stitch I can because what I want to do is I want to very gently pull it together and create a ruffle. Um, so I'm going to do that now and that's going to create my, our mane. Awesome. I think just in a moment what we're going to do is I'll have a little bit of a recap with the showstopper bundle, give Becky a little time just to um, reconfigure and then we'll carry on with that demonstration yep. within the next hour. I'm just stitching long here, so this is the longest stitch. You can do this by hand if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to do it by um, using my sewing machine um, to save time. Now I'm using a polyester thread. So the polyester thread um, will be a little bit um, stronger than using a cotton thread. But we're just using the longest stitch length on here. And then what I will do is I'm going to pull this thread. I'm just going to be very, very careful. Can you see that's bunching up? And I'm just going to pull a little like bit and balls. bunch it up. So the idea is we're going to gather up this fabric. So it's going to take a little bit of time for me to just pull this all through. We're just going to be nice and careful with it. Just pulling, I'm not pulling both threads, I'm only pulling one thread. Okay. Just pulling one thread to make sure we can gather this up. Now you can use different, um, uh, you can use a, um, a different stitch on your machine that gathers. Um, sometimes you've got little um, opportunities to gather those kind of things on there. But I'm just going to continue to gather that through okay. um, like so. But you can see how that's going to work. And that is going to create the mane to go around the edge yeah. of my um, little lion's face. Well, perfect. But what I'll do is I'll let you have a little bit of time to do that, Becky. I'll just have a little bit of a recap here yep. of the showstopper bundle here. The value is exceptional. And even someone like myself who doesn't really dabble in the soft craft, well, maybe a dabble, but you know, I don't really fully focus when it comes to the soft crafts. The value within this one, even that I know, is absolutely exceptional. You know, that's even before you get the benefits of the 18th birthday celebrations. But when it comes to the showstopper bundle, you are are going to be getting the teddy bear making kits so you're going to get both of them so you're going to get both of the teddy bear making kits you get everything that you need to make your teddy bears so this is the sort of things that you can be making when it comes to the bears this is included within your showstopper right up to last night this was not in the showstopper but that is now in our showstopper what we're also then popping in here are these templates you can see where Becky is using that one just here you're also then going to be getting your elephant and you're also then going to be getting your dragon as well. Now, not only that, you're then also going to be getting your 10 clips. You're also then going to be getting your scissors. 
You're then going to be getting your teddy bear accessories. So that's giving you all of the buttons. And then you're also then going to be getting your heat erasable pen. Now within that price, that bundle, these essentially, you're getting these for around about a tenner. In total, £69.95 or $88.75. That is your today's price. But if you are platinum, that's then going to come down to £55.96 or $71. You're going to, of course, get your double points on top of that as well. You're going to get all of this at home. Now, not only that, you're going to get your two free gifts because you spent over 10 and essentially you have spent over, of course, that 50 as well. So that one, it is your brand new showstopper when it comes to threaders. Well, we've had an absolute cracking couple of shows already. We're only halfway through the very, very first show. We've still got an hour to go when it comes to our brand new launch day here on Crafters TV. We're here celebrating day six of our 18th birthday on Crafters TV. We're celebrating 18 years of Crafters Companion and we've got lots going on. We've had launch after launch after launch. You've heard Sarah say it all week. We save all the big launches for our birthday event. We've had so many already we've had five already five days worth of launches and they're just going to continue all the way up until next Saturday you've got myself and Sarah next Saturday and then you've got Ben and you've got Leanne for the final day of our birthday celebration next Sunday so not only are you going to have the opportunity to get all your brand new launches stock dependent that is then going to enable you to then of course get all of these free gifts as well just to say there could very well be a chance that some of the free gifts go you know mid show or that so just keep that one in mind depending on the popularity of them but when it comes to the birthday celebrations if you spend over 10 let me get this before we jump back to Becky here if you spend over 10 each day you're going to get a brand new free gift now when it comes to today's free gift you're getting your Gemini mini dies now absolutely a place applicable for today because it is your mini sew and die seven dies there and that's coming to you completely free with your orders that are over 10 pound ten dollars you don't need to do anything guys and girls in the warehouse will pop that into your box now not only that if you spend over 50 today's crystal pen color is silver mm. So if you spend over 50 each day, you get a brand new crystal pen, but it's the color that changes. Today, it is silver. So it's absolutely elegant, absolutely elegant. So divine, and that's what you're going to be getting if you spend over 50. But if you spend over 100, you're then going to be getting your leopard print, pink and black jute bag, branded Crafters Companion, and that's going to be popped into your order if you, of course, spend over 100. Now, if you do spend over 100, you will get the jute bag, you will get the pen, and you will get the die set as well. Not only that, you've got double points on everything. And not only that, you've got the, uh, well, you could be in with the chance of winning the ability to spend £300 on Crafters Companion goodies. That draw will be drawn next week with Leanne and Ben next Sunday. Within probably it's going to be the final show. But to be in with that chance, all you need to do within each live show is comment. You can ask a question, you can say hi, you can tell me the song of your birth year. It could be whatever it is. It could even just, it could just be something random but that is your entry in to potentially having your name picked out at the end of this show and every other live show right up until Saturday next week and probably going to be the first couple of shows on the Sunday as well doesn't include of course for the repeats but remember we are 24 7 now across on YouTube so if you have missed today's show maybe you have been working you want to come back and recap it is so easy you go into YouTube there we go all of these shows including all the past shows as well streaming 24 7 so that's where you need to go or you can and watch on our website while you are shopping.co.uk.com or .eu. But what we are going to do now is we're going to dot right back to Becky, who's going to continue with the demonstration the way that she left off when it comes to the first hour, Becky. And it's all about the incredible uh, showstopper that we've got. It is. I'm just trying to tidy up the mess, the detritus is <laughs> all over here. If you watched yesterday's show, you know that I'm really messy. Um, I'm not saying anything, I just am. Um, right, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the face, the, the face of the lion. So this is the head. This is the front of the head. Remember, we had an F and a B on the back. Um, mm -hmm. So an F for front, a B, on, a B for back. And we stitched along this side here. Now what I want to do is I want to open this up 
and this is going to be the face of my lion. Okay. Um, so I've made a couple of little dots here um, to show where I want to put his eyes. Now I'm using safety eyes. Um, these are safety eyes that I purchased myself. Um, if you're going to be using the kit um, that we've got um, there, they've already got safety eyes in there. And in the bundle, we've also got some um, different bits and pieces in here. So you can see you've got little tiny weeny weeny safety eyes. You all right? Yeah, I was just want to have a look at them. They're weeny. Look how small they are. Tiny little safety eyes. So I've got different sizes here in my little pack. Different size safety eyes. Well, they're like screws. They but are without... like little screws, yeah. So what they basically what you do is we're going to make a little tiny hole. So I'm just going to use my snips and just make a teeny tiny hole just here. And then I'm going to pop this through like that. Okay. I'm going to try to anyway. Pop that hole through. And just push it through the other side. Gosh, I'm all fingers and thumbs today. I never really understood that saying because after all, we always are fingers and we thumbs. We are, aren't we? we? Yeah. Just push that through. Five fingers, two thumbs. And then we're going to pop this backing onto it. So this is the safety backing that comes with it. And it's like a little, a bit like a little washer, I suppose. Mm -hmm. But you push it down onto the back. And you're right, we've got like a little screw on there. I'm just going to push that in. Oh, so that's how it works with all the teddy bears. Yeah. I'm really struggling to do this at the moment. TV and I don't nails, know why it is. It? it is really difficult with long nails. Oh, my goodness. What am I doing here? What are you doing? Oh, that's because I'm trying, I'm trying to hold it so you can see. So you can see there's the little eye. Oh, wow. So it's kept in there. So these are safety buttons. Um, you can buy. Mm -hmm. So it, the idea is they don't come apart. Um, as I say, I wouldn't give anything like this to a child under the age of sort of two or three. Anyway, so we're just going to do that here. Are these eyes in the right place? Well, I'm, I'm putting these eyes there. That's where I'm putting my eyes for my lion. So a little hole here. And then pop that through. Mm -hmm. Maybe make that little hole a little bit bigger. Yeah, you don't want big. it to really be at a squinty angle of that do you no you don't and then push that through well, it could and then that over the top and then you can push that in now you can use um in the in the the the, the samples that we've got this is so difficult totally difficult for me to get this done with these stupid nails on just as well you're not selling one of our products here eh? <laughs> okay Hold on a minute, you know what I'm saying? I need to push it right close to me and then that will work. She says, hoping, just pushing that in. Ugh. You can create it. I'm I can't happy even I just, them up. I just didn't want to be there? like, I can do it because I probably can't. Put that on there and push it in. Just push that down as hard as you can. That's it. Get your fingers in there and then just push that down as hard as you can. It is a little bit fiddly and it's fiddly because we're trying to hold it out to you so you can actually see what we're doing. It would be a lot easier if we were doing this at home, wouldn't it? That's it. See, you can do, you've done that perfectly. So we're just going to move that around here like this. There you go. You've got his little eyes in the right place now. Now, you can buy separate noses. Um, I haven't got a separate nose, so I'm just going to use this a little one here, this round button um, for his nose. So we're going to do it in exactly the same way and make a teeny tiny hole. And I'm just going to need to push his nose in in exactly the same way. So push that through. There we go. And then do put that one on top. Might need your help. How you, yeah, do you mind just pushing that in, in for me? It's quite difficult. You just need to give it a really good... Yeah, push it in. That, yeah, that's, hold on to it there with your fingers and then push it in. That's it. You nearly got it. A little bit harder. That's it. Perfect. Oh, thanks, Craig. I knew you could do it. Fabulous. So you can see his it's little like face. Winnie, like Winnie the Pooh. He does look like Winnie the Pooh, doesn't it? It's all those colours. But you can get separate noses. And with the... Um, with the kits that you've got uh, over there with the, the teddy bears and the rabbit, um, you've got um, different shaped nose. You've got an actual shaped nose rather than a circle. But okay. these are things you can just buy these safety eyes. But you can use them, you can use different types of things um, for their noses. So this one here, um, oh. 
used the safety eyes, but we've used an embroidery um, circle here, and we've just done some embroidery like to fit that. that little face. So that's effectively what you can do. So once you're ready with that, you can then pop his little ears. The little ears just face, uh, pop over here. So let's go onto this one so you can see what that looks like. So you can see you've got that little face there now. Now you want to put the um, mane around him. So that was the one that we just got the um, fabric and we just drew it all in. Mm -hmm. um, so you can create all those little beautiful pleats. And you can see how that's beginning to look now. We've just stitched around the outside here um, and that's almost finished. So all we need to do now is to put the other part of the head on. Um, so we're gonna put the back of the head on. And what we will do is we will basically fold this over like that. And then we will stitch the back head to it like this okay. so it's slightly different color and i apologize i'm using different fabric so this is the back that we stitched together earlier on for the head and we're just going to fold it around that way so that's the outside of the head and now we always want right sides facing together um, so we, what we want to do is we want to pop that like that and then we would stitch around here and that will create the head um, so have i got enough time to show you how to do this yeah Okay, I'm just going to take a little bit of time for me to pin this together. No problem. Um, so again, you can use your um, clips if you happen to have some um, the clips because we've got those in the showstopper. But we're just going to work our way around, make sure we get everything. So basically, we're going to stitch together quite a few layers of fabric because where we've got this mane, it's all pleated. Um, so if you want to um, take a bit of time stitching this together, do, don't rush. Um, you still want to keep your stitching length quite small and it's quite a big ask for it to go through all these layers of fabric. So you effectively probably got eight layers of fabric that you're going through at the, um, any one time on here. Um, so just take your stitching slowly as you go around um, to make sure you're going to get it all in place. Okay, like that. So we'll give it a whirl and we'll stitch around the edge of here like that and then that's going to create that little head. Okay, okay. Well, you're doing that. I'll just uh, have a run through. <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> of some more of the birthday songs here. Uh, you're, <coughs> excuse me. You're all loving this, loving hearing all of your birthday songs. Ice Hockey Mum Two is saying number one here was Pretty Woman by Roy Orbson. What a song! That's you, Becky. What's that? Pretty Woman. Oh, I love that song. Yeah, that I love is that so film. That's a, One of my favourite films. I only watched it for the first time two and a half years ago. No. I cannot believe I'd never watched it before. What oh, a brilliant it's a great film. film. Yeah, but why, when I was younger, I didn't really appreciate... Um, oh, my God, I hate my, um, Julia Roberts as an actress. But as I've got older and she's done more and more films, I appreciate all of her past work. Mm. And oh my gosh, yeah, what a really, really good film. Really good film. I think every single woman that's ever worn a red dress thinks of that image where she's wearing the red dress yeah. and he holds out that, that beautiful display of um, jewels mm -hmm. for her. And we all think, yeah, one day that's going to happen to me. Well, I do anyway. Yeah. It hasn't. Plenty of time. One day. Plenty of time, Becky. Plenty right. of time. I've stitched all the way around the outside around the outside, around the outside. So that's my back of my head. So it's slightly different colour, so, but that, that doesn't matter. Now I'm going to turn this around so you can see how the head is going to look. It just pops out. So as I say, this, is a, this, this whole thing, I would say an afternoon is sufficient for you to be able to put this together. There you go. You see your little head? How cute is that? And we, we, we will need to stuff him in a minute. But we're not going to stuff him yet because he needs a body um, before you can stuff him. So I'm going to show you um, what that looks like with the body. I'm just going to show I've got the right bits so and pieces. So every single layer you're stitching inside out and then you're stuffing, turning Effectively, it out. Effectively, yeah, that's stuffing. what you're doing, yeah. That is what you're doing. Um, so going through here, um, looking at these different things. So we've ne now the, ne the next thing to do is to create the tail. So you've got a little rectangular piece here, and we attach the tail to the body. So the body is made in the same, same sort of way as we're doing the faces. So effectively, you're, put, you're dividing the whole of the animal up into quadrants, really. Um, let's be honest. So you've got the back and the, the back and the front, and you've got the left and the right side. Um, so we, we create the body in the same kind of way. And um, to show you, this is. 
one that's been done in, in pieces. So you've got the head, um, you've also got the body and you've got that little tail already here. Um, so you've got that piece ready made. Um, there's a little bit of, you know, it's all been stitched together. There's a little hole here. So we just need to stuff that little animal um, together. Um, and then that is going to be ready for us to put our um, joints onto. So I'm gonna quickly stuff that. Um, and then I'm gonna show you how to stitch one of the joints together using one of the um, special needles that we recommend that you use. Perfect. Now I haven't forgotten about the questions that you're sending through but we'll ask them just shortly. We'll go into a little section and fire them across to Becky. But we've got uh, Jay Presley on YouTube is saying, uh, Becky and Craig are the best. Oh, thank you. That's a lovely <laughs> comment for you to say. We would really do enjoy working with each other. We don't get to do it often, so we take advantage when we do get to work together. We've got Christine Oles on Facebook is saying, these demos have encouraged me to dust off my sewing machine. Oh, good. Oh, I'm really pleased. That's lovely to hear that. It's really nice really to hear like that. that. Idea. There was one minute ago, is it? Has it gone past me here? Forgive me, but there was a comment a moment ago. Oh, here we go. Gwenda Gee, I'm not a soft crafter, but I love watching Becky make these projects. Oh. And that's Thank what's you. lovely as well. You know, maybe you're not a soft crafter, but it's lovely that uh, if you are a paper crafter, you still watch and you enjoy Becky and Becky being here and her, her take on seeing what you make when it comes to the soft craft items and then vice versa. You know, if you're not a paper crafter, it's nice that you still watch if you're a sewing, uh, a soft crafter. So it's nice that you, uh, you have the enjoyment of all of us here. Lynn Blackledge, hashtag go live granny, saying, on my birthday, it was good night, Irene, by the Weavers. Oh. Good song. Patty saying, night fever by the Bee Gees. Night fever, Another night good fever. song. We've got Susan Carmichael is saying, those CC snips are fantastic. Absolutely my favourite. You know they're my absolute favourite. Hadassim is saying, safety eyes. I've been sewing for years and never heard of them. Oh. Oh, OK. I know what safety eyes are now. They're very useful, actually. When I can you're doing, see that, yeah. Because um, I, I, sometimes I, I've found that I've embroidered eyes onto things and then they've been a bit wonky. No one wants a wonky eye. No, you don't want a wonky eye. You don't want a wonky eye. We've got Catherine Wood on Facebook saying, sorry, I'm a bit late. Loving the lion, Becky. I know it's lovely seeing it being made. Lynette is saying, the, li the little lion's face, just with a great big love heart at the side of it. And then we've got Cynthia saying, love this, Becky. Just say what we'll do as well is I will just answer um, Karen's question saying, so there's no bonus buy today when it comes to today's showstopper, uh, the showstopper is the showstopper, but hopefully, as you can see, the, the offer that we've got is, well, Becky's reaction each time we talk about it <laughs> speaks volumes. So when it comes to the showstopper today, no, there's not one when it comes to the, sh the soft crafts, uh, but we still have, we've got a few new launches, we've got some best ever prices as well. Best thing to do in between shows or while you're watching is just have a look on the website, .co.uk, .com or .eu. Shop the show that you're going to find this show here, launch day, and have a look at everything that we've got from wake up call this morning, and then of course this show here, and then we've got our final show coming up at six o'clock. 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Pacific Time, and you'll find it all across there, Becky. Okay, right. I've stuffed my lion. Yes, you have. Um, now, I don't know if you saw how much stuffing I put yeah, out. I know it's quite at the front. Lot. And actually, I probably could manage to fit a little bit more in there, um, but I'm not. I'm not going to. So you can see here. Um, he looks. He looks quite a sad lion because he hasn't got a nose and he hasn't got a face. Hasn't got that, all of that embroidered. Well, he was him. in the, li the Lion King. The Wizard of Oz. He was very sad, wasn't he? He was sad. He was wasn't he? sad. Yeah, he was cowardly. Cowardly yeah. lion. I don't. I don't actually think he was a cowardly lion. I just think he was a sad lion. I think he was a sad lion. I think that lion. was no wrong. No, it was. Um, you're being very kind to you no know, lions that so I just feel a little bit sad. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to put a little bit more stuff in here. Just quickly as well. I actually didn't know this, Susie. Susie is saying, Becky, yeah. I read that they ad-libbed that part in Pretty Woman. It wasn't in the script for yeah. Richard Gere to close the box on her, so that was her genuine reaction. Yeah, that, I, I remember hearing that as well. Yeah. And I do, oh. every, time, every time a man comes up to me with a box of jewellery, which is never, um, but I always hope that that's going to be something that I could do, that someone's going to bring me a beautiful diamond necklace. Um, but obviously let me keep it afterwards and not take it back. Um, but I, I love that whole thing. It's a really nice idea. So we've got that here. Um, I just need to stitch this um, together. So I'll stitch that gap. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Was that good? I'm not wearing my red dress. I'm not wearing my red dress. Right. Now, we want to stitch up this little gap, but I'm not going to worry about too much about that now. What I want to do is I want to show you how you put these little buttons on. But I've now realised that I need to use one of the buttons that's over there yeah. in that little box, if, if you don't mind, if that was all right. That'd be lovely. <laughs> oh, there's eyes in there. Yeah, yeah so you've got eyes and noses in there. Oh, so, so if you go for the showstopper, yep, you're going to get those. You've as got well. the safety eyes in there. Yeah, a couple of parts. Yeah, fantastic. Great value, isn't it? Yeah, right, nice. So you only need four um, of the buttons, one for each um, limb. Um, so you've got um, how many have you got in there? Six. Uh, so you've got twelve buttons. Twelve buttons. So you have to make three, all three mm -hmm. animals. So you've got six of the smaller eyes, and then yep. you've got three of the larger yeah, ones. Yeah, so enough noses. to make one of everything. That, that's that's really good deal. Um, so what we want to do is I'm going to use <coughs> this arm that we made earlier on today. And like I say, it's a slightly different yellow, but it doesn't really matter. So we want to choose where we want to put the arm. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew this button in through the arm and into the actual body of the um, teddy bear. Now, what we are going to use is... Um, I'm going to use, she says, hiding underneath the um, thing here. I'm going to use a special needle. So I'm just rummaging in here to find my special needle. Where did I put you? Over here. Um, these are thicker, well, these are longer needles. These are dull needles um, or toy needles. They come in three different sizes. Um, so I'm going to use the smaller one. There's a teeny, well, not a teeny tiny one. A teeny tiny one is of kind of that, that kind of size. I've managed to lose that one, so I'm going to use the next one down. Um, but you can see they're quite significantly large, and the idea is it makes it nice and easy for you to stitch through. Now, what ah. you can do is you can stitch all the way across like this from one side to another like that and so you can stitch both limbs together using the same thread but i haven't got two limbs so i'm only going to do one um, so i'm going to do it that way so i'm going to get some thread could you use it as a voodoo doll you could do think of you someone. could do for someone you know someone you didn't like maybe or you know you weren't very happy with mm -hmm. i don't know yeah it could Just be something stick a needle through it. or it would be nice as like a little memory Bear or something like that for someone that you really love. I like really that loved. idea. Yeah, that's but maybe a bit better. Bit yeah, good. I think so. <laughs> um, so I would use polyester thread because it's stronger um, rather than cotton thread, which is what I'm using here. I'm using white thread. <coughs> Obviously, normally um, you probably don't want it to be noticed, or maybe you do because you want to um, show. It's going to show up on the outside of the buttons. So there's lots of th different kind of threads you could use. I would use something that's nice and strong because you want the, the joints to stay put. So I'm doing a few knots in my thread just to secure it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this, I'm going to do a couple of stitches here. Not like that. A couple of stitches here. Put everything together. And then I'm going to pop my teddy bear arm in here and I'm going to stitch through like that. And I'm going to take my button. Okay. And I'm going to stitch my button and I'm going to go through the joint of the animal. Right. Onto the body of the animal. Oh, that's no good. Let's take that off. I'm just, I'm so engrossed in this because before you started this, I was actually looking at the teddy bears in front of me and how the arms with the buttons were attached. Yeah. So that's why I kind of went silent as I'm watching you. So we're going through again, the body of the animal, up through the limb, through the button. And we're going to do this a few times to go back and forth just to secure it in place. This is why these, these needles are really useful. So they're just called doll's needles or toy needles. And they're big, um, they're nice and long, they're very strong as well, and they're quite sharp. Thank so it you means you can go through all of those layers. So you imagine you're going through a couple of layers of fabric, or a few layers of fabric, and you're going through all of that um, stuffing as well. So we're gonna 
move back and forth a few times. Yeah, because Nefertiti was actually just asking that. Need those needles, what did Becky say that they were? So there you yeah, go, Nefertiti. Doll needles, or you can get them online. We don't, we don't sell them, but you'll be able to get them from a haberdashery shop um, or online, no problem at all. Uh, so go through that again. <laughs> so, <laughs> Karen's just commented saying, Craig, I bet a voodoo doll would be popular for us divorcees. <laughs> that probably would be the case. Go up. Now, what I want to do is I want to go up to finish it off. The way you would do, normally do a button. Go up. I'm not going through the button. I'm just going to the side of the button. And I'm going to wrap around a couple of times around the button. And then I'm going to go back underneath. And I'm going to finish that off down here at the bottom of my animal. Do a couple of little stitches in there to secure it and make a little bit of a knot. And then that is going to be how I will finish off that joint. And you'll do all of the joints of the animals in exactly the same way. So obviously now I've only done one, um, but you can see how they will work. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then you've got his working arm on his little body. That is so cool. And they're working exactly the same way. So when you, when you stitch this one up, you'll do that in exactly the same way. You put that little joint there. But you can see now that little joint works. So really, no, I'm, I'm only showing you in pieces yeah, how to yeah. do this. And obviously that one, you know, that's how the face would look when you'd finished him off. Um, but, I mean, great item to make if you wanted to make some gifts for Christmas. Um, maybe you wanted to make a whole, a whole menagerie mm -hmm. of animals um, for um, children um, to use or keepsake bears. You know, lots of people are keeping hold of shirts that belong to family members. Yeah. This is a great way of using them. Um, a great way of using all your scraps of fabric. Maybe you've got some really beautiful fabric and you want to use some you know, little bits of um, a Liberty print maybe or on the bottoms of the, their feet would look really gorgeous. Um, so lots of versatility with these. And I think they are really key. I mean, and I, cannot, I cannot express enough how gobsmacked I am at the price of it because of the, all the stuff you're getting in with that as well as the kits, um, those teddy bears and rabbit kits you're going to get in there as well, which are going to work in the same kind of way, but everything is going to be included inside those boxes. Incredible value. Brilliant. Thank you so much. It's really, really interesting to see how you start to form them together. And you can be doing that when it comes to the Showstopper bundle. Now, just to clarify as well there, so this is in the Showstopper bundle, but these are £19.99 each. £19.99 each. So you're just under your £40 for those ones there if you were to go for them individually. Or they're £24.95. $24.95 each. But in the showstopper today, you're going to get both of these. So these are going to enable you to then be making your teddy bears. Now, when it comes to each one here, you can see down here, well, this top one here, we have got our gingham teddy bear, which is that one just there. And then you've also got your floral bunny, which essentially is that one there. So you've got your gingham, but then you've got your floral underneath as well. So that's what you can be making. You've got everything there for you to make the teddy bears. So you're going to be getting this. You're also then going to be getting the template. So Becky was just showing you and using the lion. So you're going to get your lion. Now, not only that, you're going to get the dragon. So you're going to start to create and assemble these all in the exact same way that Becky has been showing you with the lion. And you're also then going to be getting your elephant. So you're going to be getting that. Now, what you're then also going to be getting is the teddy bear accessories. So remember, you are going to be getting your 12 buttons that Becky was just showing you there. You're going to get your six eyes and your three noses that you've got. So that's coming to you. You're also going to get your three pack of heat erasable pens. You're going to get the red, black and the blue. You're then also going to be getting the 10 pack of clips. And then you're also then going to be getting your little snippy scissors. Now, that little bundle that I've just got there would be worth £24 or $35. But when it comes to the cost, once you start to then break down that cost, you're getting that 
for a tenner. You're getting that for £10 or $10. So everything that I've just shown you there at that showstopper collection, you're going to get for $69.95 or $88.75. You've got that saving on today's price at $24.96 or for you guys stateside $36.84. But if you are platinum, then that's going to come down to $55.96 or $71. You're going to get your double points as well. Double points running all the way up till next Sunday for the final wrap-up with Ben and Leanne. And then because you're over £50, $50, that then means you're going to get your little Gemini sewing mini set. So you've got the seven dies within that one. That's because you're over £10. But because you're over 50 you'll also then get our daily crystal pen. Brand new colour every single day. And today is our branded crafter's companion, silver pen. So the guys and girls in the warehouse, they'll pop that into your box without you having to do anything on the website. But what you do need to do on the website, of course, is check out. So have a look on .co.uk.com or .eu. That's where you need to go to have a look at all the items that myself and Becky has been showing when it comes to today's show on Crafters TV. And if you do need a little bit of a recap as to how to log into your account to our brand new spank, sparkling website, here's Ben to tell you all about it. Hi, I'm Ben from Crafters TV. As you may know, we've just launched an amazing new website, our new home of paper craft that has all of your crafty needs. And as we've had a bit of a makeover, I'm here today to help you log into your account on our brand new site. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Go to the Crafters Companion homepage. Make sure to select the correct location at the top of the page. Go to the My Crafters icon on the top right of your screen. Next, enter your email address. Then, enter your password. Click the Sign In button. You should now be logged into your account and taken to your My Crafters page. When you log out, go to the left hand side of the page and click the Log Out button in the My Account box. When you're logged out, you'll be taken back to the Crafters Companion page. And it's as easy as that. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV with you wherever you are. Pokey tools and paper pads, gilding, wax and stamping mats, scissors, glitter, builder blocks, faux snow fabric, rocker blocks, brass misters, quilting clips, and diapers, tools, precision snips, finger daubers, acetates, stencils, glue guns, and templates. Gemini Pro, Julia and the OG. Gemini Go, Mini and the Midi. Triblend brush pens, aqua pens and aqua blends. Illustrators, classics and tri blends and color blends and glitter pens and sparkle pens, outliner pens. Fine tip glue applicators and bellow butts creators Stamping platforms, boxer boards, the big score and scoreboard Nina card and craft card, glitter card, my flat card Craft kits, wadding gand, adhesive sheets, glass mats Guillotines and pen trays, ball tool dice and zinc trays Mitre tools and binding tools and toe bugs, USBs Bone folders and punches, low tack tape and brushes Stamens, mailboard, flower forming foam Alpine markers, DVDs, felt with triton pads and CDs, gilding flakes and washi tape, tacky glue, red liner tape, craft pads for press, sparkle pots, and churro pan and sticky dots, pigment ink pads, chunky glue, buddy bags, all purpose glue, embossing folders, blending tools, storage folders, much more tools. Water reactive ink pads, buddy bags, craft magnets, gear of craft and glue, stick, stick and spray and stick away. Dotty tape and split pens, acrylic paint pens, tape pens, watercolor card, rotary cutters, magazines and stamping card, ultimate. Pro on the rotating design board. Alter, but first, compendium, Sarah, signature collections. And don't forget Discovery Kids. Oh, and there's foam pads. Think that's it. One final thing foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. Have you seen social? Have you seen what's coming on Monday? 
saying nothing. You're not saying anything? I'm not saying anything. Well, but I want to know what's happening on Monday. Go across to Ben's social. Oh, I can't. I'm working. That's very true. <laughs> you can kind of gather where I'm going with this. No, I don't. I've got no idea what's happening on Monday. Oh, you'll need to find out on Monday then. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Shall we fire some questions to you? Go on then, fire Go on away. Then. Right to you. Cathy Myers on Facebook. Becky, what are the gloves for? So that was the quilting gloves that we've got within the UK bundle. So they are, in case you want to do a um, Michael Jackson kind of dance, you only need to use one. No, honestly, they're grippy. They've got like, um, almost like if you had, you've got some latex on something and it's dried and everything's a bit grippy. And that's what they feel like. The idea is that when you are quilting, not only are you going to be touching your fabric a lot when you quilt something, you want to make sure your hands are super, super clean, but they also have a little bit of a grip, which means it's a little bit easier for you to maneuver your project underneath your sewing machine. So they're just like, they're grippy gloves is what I would call them. Grippy gloves. Grippy I like gloves. That. Uh, now this must be going back to when you were using the sewing machine for the templates in Becky. What was the seam allowance? Quarter of an inch. Perfect. Awesome. We've got maybe this is the same. I don't know. Carol G is saying, what size stitch are you using, Becky? With the um, so when you're actually stitching the animal together, um, two in, uh, two millimeters. So normally you'd use two and a half millimeters, two millimeters, just to prevent any of that um, animal sort of stuffing from seeping through. But when we stitched the mane, I was using four and a half millimeters because I wanted it really, really wide because we wanted to be able to put it through and gather. Um, but for the actual animals, two millimeters. Perfect. Hannah Goslin Smith on YouTube would say, and <coughs> excuse me. So the bears have all the materials and everything you need to make them that are in the box. Yeah, we're going to open up the box later. In the next show, I'll do a demo and show you exactly what's in the box. What's um, in the but box? yes, basically you get the fabric which is printed with all of the pieces. So really quick and easy for you to do because all you're going to do is cut around the shapes and put them together. They go together in a very similar way to the animals that we've just shown you in the way that their joints work in the same kind of way. Um, but yeah, every single thing you'll need in there, apart from the thread, um, and the needle um, is it contained in there. So you're going to get your safety eyes, you're going to get your stuffing, you even get a little bit of ribbon to tie around their necks. Awesome. We, we could have a crafty game of deal or no, no deal later on. Oh, we really? need. Could do, can yeah, we? Yeah, why not? Yeah, what's in the box? We've also got Patricia is saying, what is the height of the teddies, please? Ooh. Let's Where's have your bracelet? a bracelet. I'm using my bracelet. Um, so you are. 10 inches, um, roughly. 10 inches, let's have a look. Let's put you this way. Yeah, I'd say 10 inches, um, possibly nine inches, that one. I suppose it depends on how upright they're sitting. Mm -hmm. um, so the lion, yeah, nine and a half inches. Uh, the dragon appears to be 10 inches. So okay, yeah, look. still I quite sizable. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It is. I have no idea what this means, but I'm sure you will do. Denise Stars is saying, Becky, could you, ra could you use a raised nap like Minky for the lion? You, sorry, raised? Becky, could you use a raised nap like Minky for the lion? I don't know what you mean. Denise, if you're still watching, you... let Susie know. Yeah, yeah. exactly what, what it was that you were meaning. Just put Becky, could you use a raised nap, NAP, like Minky for the lion? Mm, not sure what you mean. I don't know whether you mean like um, uh, for the, you know, like, um, like a raised <laughs> part of here, like a fold uh -huh. um, on your fabric. I'm not sure what you mean. Or do you mean like nap as in um, like a fluffiness, um, like um, a corduroy or something like that, when you've got like a different kind of soft, soft sort of raised nap mm -hmm. that you've got in that. I'm not sure quite what you mean on that. Actually, if you had any of our velvet, mm -hmm. you know, we had some of that beautiful velvet, that would make an amazing um, mane here because it'd feel really nice and soft. Would nice. Would yeah, be nice, that'd be quite, it? quite nice. Perfect. Um, but let us know again, Denise. Let us know uh, if you don't catch this show, but you see it later on. You need a recap. Ask us again in the next show, and we'll help you where we can. Just a couple of more here. We've got Karen is saying, could you use mink fabric with these patterns? So, could you use mink fabric with these patterns? Mink. Mink. M I N K. 
mink fabric, mink but like fabric. real fur. Yeah, I why not? Know, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Fun fur would work. The only what thing fur? I would say, fun fur, or fun fur. Like, like fake fur, faux fur. Um, the only thing I would say when you're using the, like fur type of fabrics is that you've got to make sure that the um, the flow of the fabric is going the right way. Um, so if you cut, I suppose it's the same as any kind of when you're cutting any kind of fabric out. So if you did the lion and you were using some kind of furry fabric you'd want to make sure that when you cut this piece of fabric here to create that um, piece that all the the fur was flowing down the same Ooh, way nice, otherwise you wouldn't yeah. want it flowing down the other way because it'd look a bit awkward uh -huh. uh, but yeah, you could use something like that velvet would look nice corduroy would, would look really lovely um, you know faux leather um, would look quite cool especially for the elephant um, you, there's there's a whole host of different things you could do you could do a different pe different type of fabric for each joint yeah you can make it almost like a harlequin type of cool. um, animal yeah there's, there, the possibilities are endless really well, can you can you imagine, let's say I don't know let's say you've got five grandkids mm. and you take a, a shirt or something like that from each of the grandkids yeah. one could be a leg one could be the other leg yeah, arm, nice, do you know yeah. what I mean and then you've got your grandkids that would be a nice idea yep. We've got Cheryl saying, crazy question. No such thing as a crazy question. But can these animals be made with fabric glue? No. No. What I would say is with the fabric glue, these animals are meant to give a big squish to. Um, to see, they would pop with the fabric glue. You really do need to stitch these together. You can absolutely stick them together initially with fabric glue and then sew them afterwards if you don't want to go down the whole pin route. And as I say, I'm, I'm quite lazy. No, I'm not. I'm really lazy. Um, if I can, if I can get away without pinning something, I will try to. And if I can glue it together, so much the better. Um, but yeah, they need because you've got lots of um, filling in these. They're going to be quite, um, quite, quite firm. You want to make sure that they they're going to keep together when you squish them if it's okay, really don't. firm. Perfect. And then last one, although it's not really a question, but yeah. Rosalind said, which is a really good idea, certainly with the foil press, yeah. you could monogram the belly or the ears of the animals before stuffing and oh, sewing together. Oh, that'd be nice. Or the feet. Maybe you want to put the year, the year. Um, on the feet mm -hmm. and give them to all the grandchildren for Christmas presents. That's a lovely With idea. With one of their old shirts or something. Yeah, I like that idea. Like yeah. that idea, yeah. yeah. So you could be doing that. Yep. Now, can you be making these with what we're waiting to show you just now? Uh -huh. It might be a bit funky, yeah. but yeah. we've got some fabrics, some brand Absolutely. new fabrics that yeah. you can be using when it comes 100%. to these. One hundred percent. Yeah. So we've got loads of fabrics on the show. Yes. Loads. Hence why I've come back to this <laughs> side here. Um, we've got so many. I haven't got them all because, um, quite frankly, it was too many. Um, so the first ones we're going to show you are these these beautiful, brightly coloured ones. These are all Lewis and Irene fabrics um, that we've got here. Here. Okay. Um, they are Lewis and Irene fabrics are um, really, really great quality fabrics. So these are all these brightly coloured um, versions that we've got. Um, I can't remember what they're called. I think they're called something like rainbow. Um, just the, the, they're, they're what we would call a blender pattern. Um, so you can see here you've got like a mottled kind of effect. It almost looks like, particularly this one, um, you're looking through this um, here, like um, it looks like looking through a skylight, mm -hmm. isn't it? Or sky scene in clouds, yeah. yeah. And these are blender fabrics. So the, the idea of these is that these will um, work together with other fabrics that you've got. Say, for example, so we've got some other fabrics on the show, um, which are the um, floral Lewis and Irene fabrics that we've got here mm -hmm. and so these are different kind of fabrics and the idea is and um, that's not a great example but this one was probably a great better example how these would blend together ah. with these and make everything go a little bit further and um, so that that is the idea of these these are absolutely brilliant so if you have something that's very highly patterned you would use some of these as a blender kind okay. of cut a fabric on here as so well just tone it down maybe tone, slightly right tone it down. It and we have these in a whole host of different colors um, I can't remember what they're actually <laughs> called. Maybe it says on the, the side of them, actually. Think it maybe it says it on the say. side. Um, these are, um, are, these, are these called dreams? Just having a quick look. Yeah, these are all your dreams, they're called, okay. um, on the website. So you can see they've all got this pattern on them that looks a little bit like, um, you know, it looks like clouds, mm -hmm. doesn't it? it no, does, like yeah. a dreamscape in all of these different colours here. Um, so you've got them in, like I say, I've only brought with, with me a small selection of the different colours that we've got in here. Um, so the first, oh, we've got them there just coming up. So bl um, dark blue, that's that one. That's a dark blue in dreams. Perfect, um, awesome. So we've got loads of, no, and then you see all sorts of different 
tones in mm -hmm. here it's going to work really well so we, we haven't got every single color okay and um, we've got a mixture of them so we've got like a bright pink and um, we've got like a lime green we've got a yellow we've got a cream we've got a black and an orange but there are ho so many more colors on the website every single color you could possibly imagine is available on the website but they're all this same pattern um, and they like we will term like a blender kind of um, color so mm -hmm. these are absolutely beautiful and I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna make something in a moment with some um, some of the other fabrics that we've got but using these for some of your builder blocks they're so vibrant you might have um, a little bit a tiny bit of a really expensive patterned fabric um, that's got this yellow in it you know you end up using this as a blender fabric um, to go with that it's going to make that piece of pattern fabric mm -hmm. go a, a whole lot further and sometimes with really highly patterned fabrics it can be really really expensive k facet for example you're talking of sort of 20 pounds a meter and um, so this is a way of making sure your yeah. fabric goes a little bit further so within each one there's about 21 that you can choose from each of them are 749 or ten dollars 99 you still going to get your platinum price of course at $5.99 or $8.79 each. Uh, what are the size of them? Um, you, that, that's for half a meter. For half a yeah, meter, so perfect. It, yeah, they all come in half a meter. So if you, I think it's up to six meters, you can order, you'll get it in one whole length. One whole, great. Yeah, otherwise, um, you just need to sort of work out. Um, if you just order half meter, they'll just come in half meter increments. Awesome. So these next ones here, these are um, a selection of, um, these are again, Lewis and Irene, but these are really pretty. I would say very kind of French um, mm -hmm. feel to me. You can feel, they are so silky. These are 100% the cotton. Yeah. They wash amazingly. They are a really beautiful, beautiful kind of um, fabric um, that you've got here. So I'm just going to open them up so you can see um, the different um, kind of quality that we've got on mm -hmm. them. Um, you've well, got like some that. really, look at these, really beautiful um, designs. So we've got them, you'll have a look on the website. We're going to have to flick through them. Mm -hmm. We've got so many different ones here. Um, I am just going to try and see if I can find which one that one is. And these by the meter as well? Well, Again, the price you're seeing is by, by half, half meter, meter. Um, that you've got on here. Um, so I'm going to flick through. You've down here. So if you look on the website, um, you've got a code of um, uh, 750, which will show you which one this one particularly is. But this is like little tiny, tiny um, berries, effectively, in blue. This one is cream mm -hmm. with these tiny, tiny little berries um, in all those shades of blue in there as well. But we have other ones like this here. Um, I'm just going to flick through them so you can see mm -hmm. um, the different colours. So those are tiny berries, those ones we've just seen, in cream and in blue. Um, this next one here has got this beautiful pattern on it, um, which looks really, really pretty. Little tiny flowers um, on this one. Um, again, very, very pretty. And these are very usable. Well, by saying this kind of colour um, that you've got here, it's like um, it's almost like a putty kind of yeah, colour that is, you've got it? showing up here, which is why I think it looks really, really French, and this kind of of idea with these blues in them like um, a proper sign duck egg kind of blue um, I'm just going to get a couple more together to show you um, we've also got some panels as well um, on here which I'm going to show you in a minute because the panels are incredible um, so you can see these ones here more um, this one's more sort of like a tree kind of design that you've got here um, and we've got that in a couple of different colorways so we've okay. got that in a darker blue and we've also got it in a cream kind of color um, Again, you know, have a look on the website. You'll be able to see exactly what they, these all are, exactly, um, yeah. what they know, how they look. But I wanted to show you them um, when you see them with all of the the lights from the um, the cameras here as well. So I'm just going to flick through them very, very briefly. But you can see all of these different designs that we've got here. Um, there we go. This one here as well, and then finally this one here. Um, beautiful colours. Now, if you wanted to go down the route of getting a panel, we have an amazing panel here. This is incredible because using all these tones, oh, that's beautiful. all of the colours as well, um, you get this huge panel. I'm going to have to flip it over a couple of times for you to see. The idea being that you buy this panel and you can create four cushions out of it. Okay. Um, so you can see this first part here, and then this one is the next one you'll see here. And then if I flick over on the other side here, you see two other designs there. So effectively, just cutting these up, um, using your quarter of an inch seam allowance, you can create some really beautiful cushions that are going to work really well. I have to be honest, 
I have my eye on this because my mum's just moved into a new place and she, my mum loves blue. My, blue and white is my mum's, no, the, the thing that my mum always Beautiful likes. Com combo. Yeah, Beautiful absolutely. Combo. Now, for, for a, a quick, quick gift, let's be honest, Christmas is coming up. You can make um, a cushion cover with this. You could maybe buy some of this fabric to make the back of it, or you could perhaps use some just plain cotton fabric on the back or some linen. Um, a zipper enclosure to finish it off and make it look really nice maybe a bit of piping around the edge if you're going to be dead fancy and a, and a, cu a put cushion pad and you've got a present for somebody that That's they it. are going to absolutely love they're going to be made up the fact that you created this um, and i think for that price for that panel um there's absolutely beautiful really really do love that one I, it's given me as well partridge in a pear tree vibe yeah yeah you know very I mean? similar and i think actually lewis and irene last christmas or perhaps the christmas before they did a, a selection of christmas pay, um christmas fabrics and i think they had something similar like that with a partridge and a pear tree really? so it feels a little bit like that um it's just beautiful the colors of this is really lovely like i say it's like this kind of putty color and this very sort of french blue color that you've got here and all of these panels and these fabrics will all work together they are absolutely gorgeous Absolutely beautiful. You can get your hands on these ones here. One yard panel, $8.49 or $12.99. Of course, you're going to get your platinum price on top of that. $6.79 or $10.39. So as Becky was selling, maybe you're thinking, of course, of maybe gifts that then you can then start to create. But you're going to get your double points on top of that one as well. So all of them are across on our brand new sparkly website that you can then have a look on and you're going to see all of these, uh, well, all of these materials that Becky's just been showing you there. You're going to see them with all the names, all the descriptions, and then you can get the ones that you want. Now, don't forget, you have uh, got a couple of minutes. I'm going to announce the winner of this show, the name of this show, that will then go into the prize draw a week tomorrow. So we're going to tell you that just in a moment. But before we do, let's little, have a little look here. This is our ragdoll outfit, three-piece collection with six elements in total. Now, you're going to get these, these are huge, $22.49 or $29.13. You've got a saving of 25%. It is the best ever price that we've done, and we've not seen them since August, so we've not been seen for a couple of months, but we've got that 25% saving. But your platinum price is even better at $17.98 or $23.20. So you're going to be getting your rag dolls, you're going to be getting your rag doll template, you're then going to be getting the Ragdoll Outfits 1, and then you're also going to get the Ragdoll Outfits 2. So you're going to get the templates that are going to enable you to create the Ragdolls, but then you're getting all of these outfits as well. Two different packs that you've got here. You're going to get the templates, you're going to get the instructions, $17.98 or $23.30 with your double points. Of course, if you go across to Becky, like we're waiting to do right now, we'll get some ideas as to how they can look once you've made them and decorated them. Here's some little tiny raggy little dolls, dolls. raggy were, dolls, dolls for like you, you and, and me. me. Raggy dolls, raggy dolls, made absolutely perfectly by you by using these templates. See what I did there? Amazing. Um, these are really cute. Now, I, I love the idea of being able to make a raggy doll, make a doll and, and personalise them, make them the way that you want to. Maybe you make them in um, the, the kind of guise of um, one of your, your friends. Um, these are gorgeous. Now, they're very, very simple to make. They work really easily. They work slightly differently to the, anim the animals we've got, so they don't have joints in them. They've got their, their raggy dolls. So they have, um, you're just stitching the um, pieces, the arms, um, to the main body. Now, the boys and the girls, for want of a better term, um, the only real difference is the fact that we've given some of these people longer hair. Mm -hmm. um, they're effectively exactly the same. But not only do you get the templates to make the actual animals. Animals? Dolls. Dolls. <laughs> you get the templates to make the clothes as well. So, for example, over here, um, this one, you get the template to make the blouse or the shirt, and the little dungarees, the little Adorable. shoes as well. You get those. All of the instructions are in there as well to make them. You've got this one here. Little t-shirt, little shorts. You can make the shorts into trousers if you want. You've also got trainers, a template to make trainers and little socks as well. 
Then this one here, you've got the template to make the dress, which can be altered and made into a skirt. You can make the dress longer if you wanted to or shorter. You could make these for um, a wedding. Perhaps you're going to be giving them to the flower girls rather than them carrying flowers. You're going to replicate the bridesmaids' dresses and you're going to give them little dolls that are going to look exactly like them. You can also make the little, um, dress, little shoes as well. So these are really, really versatile. They are so cute to make. Um, now, loads of people do that elf on the shelf thing. Um, perhaps you want to do something different. Perhaps doll you on want a wall. To, yeah, exactly. You want to do a, a, a doll. I mean, it's all about the toys today, isn't it? I'm just surrounded by toys. But perhaps you want to make um, a toy, a doll, just like your, your child or your grandchild, and they're the ones that are being mischievous. They're mischievous. I always say mischievous and mischievous around the wrong way. They're mischievous. And they're going to be doing all the naughty things around the house. And um, perhaps you want to do one of these as a, like a memory kind of toy. You can absolutely do that. You can buy this and you can buy the collection with all the outfits. You can make a whole host of um, outfits for them from all of those little offcuts of fabric that you happen to have. Maybe you're going to mimic all of their school uniform and do um, th those kinds of things. You can always adapt this. You, whilst these are, are dungarees, you can make them into short dungarees. There's so many things you could do with these and I think they are just absolutely gorgeous. Loads of people would love to make their own toys and by using these templates it makes it really, really easy for you to make your own toys to keep, to keep as heirlooms or to give as family gifts. Um, really nice and of course you can make and sell as well. Perfect. Thank you so much Becky. Yeah, well you can be doing that when it comes to the ragdoll outfits. This is your three piece collection with six elements in total that are going to give you the ability to create your rag dolls with the templates and then you've got your additional outfit sets as well so you're going to get rag doll outfit one fyi becky i've pinched your bracelet you've also got what did the you say I've, I've pinched your bracelet oh you have haven't you yeah i have yeah your measurement no, <laughs> magic i was obviously concentrating very deeply on whatever i was doing over here dynamo <laughs> me, Dynamo, me. Whatever yeah. happened to Dynamo? Well, he's been because he's got Crohn's disease. Has he really? Yeah, he's got Crohn's disease. So I know he went through a spell where he really wasn't quite well. So, so yeah. yeah. So he used to be on all the time. All didn't the time. He? Yeah. he was great. I always all wanted to go party. So yeah, if you want to get your hands on that, twenty-two forty-seven or twenty-nine dollars thirteen, you got your saving of twenty-five percent, best ever pr price, and we've not seen it since August. Now, not only that, you're going to of course get your platinum, seventeen ninety-eight or twenty-three dollars thirty, with your double points. And if you're just going for that, you will get your free gift, which is your ten pound, ten dollar or more spend at that price. So you're going to get the Gemini Mini dies. Right, we do have a winner. We've got a winner, a name, the winner name that's going to be popped in here and may, may win £300 to spend when it comes to Crafters Companion. The winner will be announced next Sunday for Ben and Leanne. And the name that's been picked from this show here is Deborah Freeze on Facebook. Woo! Congratulations. You were watching on Facebook, so you're going to go into there. And you never know, you might be a lucky winner next Sunday. So you need to tune in next Sunday. Probably going to be the final show where the, now the winner is going to be announced. So well done, Deborah. And uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing what the winner is going to be purchasing when it comes to what they may yep. purchase. What's your being your favourite product we've had so for new launch that we've had so far um, for birthday? Uh, for, um, Putting you on the spot now. Yeah, you have. I'm trying to think. So oh, our everyday border nest and dies. Oh yeah, they're really nice. Yeah, I like those. Every day, yeah. There's one thing coming out which hasn't come out yet, which I really, really want, and obviously can't talk about it because it hasn't come out yet. But I um I liked the mermaid dream collection with all the glitter and yes. sparkles. I really like that. And in fact I'm saying that and it's just over there in it's the just corner. Over there. Yeah, I, I bought really that. like that. Yeah. I bought that. Did you? Can't wait to have a little play. No. Can't wait to I've have got, a I've got a real thing about glitter paste now. Yeah. I'm totally in love with it. It's good it's stuff. It's my favourite thing to use at the moment. I, want, I just want to smear myself with glitter paste. Oh, that's a lovely thought, that is. <laughs> Begging glitter paste. Yeah. Right. Exactly. 
Right, we're going to have a very quick look at what I've got here at the side. Just before we have a little break, before we come back live for our two-hour show, this is going to be our festive treat dies. This is a five-piece set because you're going to get the vinyl as well. So you're going to get what you've got at the side here, but this really does show them off. So these are your festive treat dies. You're going to get your Christmas tree. Now, not only that, you're going to be getting your snowman. You're also going to be getting your penguin. And then you're also going to get your gingerbread man. You're saving 25% and you've also got the best price yet as well. Essentially, it works out that you're getting one of them for free. So when it comes to them, $34.46, $44.81 or $27.57 or $35.85. But we are just wait ahead away just for an hour and then you can continue to watch 24-7 across on our YouTube. If you want to see us live, we'll be here at 6 o'clock UK time, 1 p.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m. Pacific time. Where Becky, we're going to do it all over again for the we final are. time today. Absolutely, yeah, looking forward to it. It's going yes. to be good. We're going to have another look at some brand new launches that were featured yep. as well throughout today, of course. We'll have a look at a few different things. And you know what? It's Saturday night here in the UK, so we're just going to have some fun. I'm going to ask you once again, for those that didn't already let me know earlier on, what was the song that was number one when it comes to your birth year? You maybe let me know what you've also been purchasing throughout our birthday event. But you can head across to the website website.co.uk.com.eu check out your baskets and myself becky and the whole team we are going to be back here live in one hour's time on crafters tv